your main event of the evening, and it is for the Warriors of Wrestling World Heavyweight Championship. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your main event of, a, of Extreme Heat 2017, and a main event calls for something special. And tonight, here on commentary, we are joined by none other than Tony Schiavone. Tony, welcome to the broadcast position. Thanks, Rob and Matt. Great working with you guys tonight. I've enjoyed this night immensely. It's been a lot of fun. We've had kids really out of your butt in their butt. And I'm looking forward to a great heavyweight title match. Wrestling's true headline, as he wants to be called, Chris Steeler going against the Ripper, Jason Karloff. And the Ripper has early control of this matchup. 
Karloff holding the title since this past December in a fatal four-way featuring Chris Steeler. It was title for title. In January, Steeler won the No Limits title, but he lost it last month in a cage. There, he basically turned his back on you, Rob, and everybody in Warriors of Wrestling and the Rippers looking for a receipt. And the Ripper showing his strength. Also a power lifter, and you can see that here as he sends Steeler to the outside. Yeah, I tell you, Steel needs to come up with a different game plan. You can't run into this guy and knock him down. It's pretty apparent. And I like the way the Ripper started out very, very aggressive. I've always thought if you're the champion, you bet, I think you should take the fight to the challenger, let him know what he's in for, and that's what we're seeing so far here tonight. Absolutely, Chris Steeler draping the neck of Jason Karloff over that top rope, but having very little effect. However, those forearms from the Ripper, vicious. And since wrestling true headline, as he wants to be called, to the ropes. Rob, you, the fans at home didn't see this, but Tony and I saw you make those little quotation marks. You see, the thing about it is, Rob, he is a headliner. He is in the main event tonight. You were the one who signed this match, Rob, so you want to make your quotation marks all you want there, pal. He might walk out with that belt tonight, and you may have a headliner, an actual headliner, in your main event. Well, well, man, let me ask you this. What's this chant of, you sold out, you sold out? What's that all well, about? Well, last month, Chris Steeler decided to invest in himself and invest in the future of Warriors of Wrestling when he made a surprise appearance at the end of a match you know very well, War Games. During the match beyond portion, the lights went out and the light shone the brightest, brightest when Chris Steeler walked in and made a statement and held... Hell, he almost changed the, pa the path of his company for the better. Wait a second here. Jason Karloff known for a German suplex, but this, this is lunacy right here. What he is attempting. Chris Steeler hanging on the tips of his fingers. Oh, Karloff, a team Taz trainee, knows one or a thing or two about suplex. I, I think Steeler just saved his life right there, to be honest with you. Chris Steeler sent to the inside. And now, Jason Karloff is the one prone on the apron. Fighting his way, trying to get into the ring. Chris Steeler ducks, hits that knee though. Jason Karloff looks to be a little stunned. Tony, I've got a question for you. You've called your fair share of heavyweight championship matches in the past. The atmosphere changes. The feeling inside you changes. What are the things that you notice in the past with different heavyweight championship matches that the champion and challenger must avoid or must go for? Yeah, there, there's a lot of things on the line here. When you're in a world title match like we're here, your adrenaline is rushing. Sometimes you make mistakes. You do things you shouldn't do. Right now, I think we're seeing Chris Steele do exactly what he needs to do, and that is when you get a big guy down, keep the big guy down, don't let him get to his feet, where he can get a wide vertical base, where he can get back on top, where he can use his weight and his power advantage. Keep him down on the mat. Now, all this posturing is not going to do him any good at all. No good, no good at all. And Chris Steele turning that posturing into a middle finger to the crowd here in Staten Island. He, he needs to remember the crowd pays his way. Now the Ripper back in charge of this heavyweight championship matchup. Important to know, Chris Steeler and Jason Karloff have crossed paths many times. In a one-on-one -one situ situation and scenario, Chris Steeler has never been victorious against Jason Karloff. You have to wonder if that is playing into his mind here coming into tonight. But tonight might be the variable, Rob. Two count only. And I will say this Steeler might be taking the champion a little lightly, but this newfound confidence, this newfound bravado might be the thing to turn the tide here and give wrestling's true headline the true championship here tonight. Steeler's still making that mistake of posturing to the crowd. We talked about the double finger. That doesn't bother me, but what bothers me is taking your eye off your opponent and taking your attention away from the reason that you're wrestling. He's wrestling for the title. He's not wrestling to... A posture for the fans, and every time he does, he allows the big guy to get back into it. Absolutely. Jason Karloff is not someone you want to give a moment to recover. You can see the strength of him just throwing Steeler to the corner. Wrestling's true headline missed that oof, vicious back elbow from Chris Steeler. Missed that kick. And this is one place where Steeler has the advantage. That top rope, but up. Oh, spoke a little too soon there. 
Chris Dua fighting to the apron now once more. Again, as the oh, an insecurity for Jason Karloff. We do not see that often. The man does not willingly leave his feet. <laughs> I, I don't think I've ever seen that. I thought agility. My goodness, an insecurity to the head from a guy that size. That was incredible. It really was. The referee starts his count. I know Jason Karloff, while he could win the match this way, I've spoken to him before, he definitely does not want to win this match this way. Definitely preferring a victory. Going for his brain buster, the Splatterhouse Five. The referee reaching six. Chris Steele is still on the outside. And this match may end in a count out, but no. Just in the nick of time at the nine and nine tenths. Steeler rolls back in the ring. A vicious assault from Jason Karloff. It was a good move to stay on the outside for as long as you could. But then he came in and was doing a little hot doggy once again. He paid for it. I don't, I don't consider it hot dogging, Tony. I consider it a strategy. I consider it trying to get inside the head of the champion, trying to throw him off his game. May not work all the time, but one time it might, and it might cost him the title. Well, it's not working now. I can tell you that. Here it is, the hanging vertical suplex. Five, six, seven, Chris Steeler trying to fight out, but all the blood rushing to his head. Jason Karloff easily holding that man up. Stalling vertical suplex has its effect. The champion goes for the victory here. It's only a two. No pinning combination on that, and that's what cost him. That was tremendous balance, tremendous strength, but I think it may have taken something out of the big guy as well that time, Rob. Got to hold someone up, a couple hundred pounds up there for so long, whether you're a power lifter or not. You got to take a lot of a breath control there to keep that momentum. Got him up in a fine square position. Almost takes the ref Shady Torres out. Oh, wait a second here. The ripper nearly set. Oh my god! Shady Torres just got invited to a super kick party and accidentally RSVP'd early. Good, I don't like him. He's a bum. He owes me money. I don't think you're getting out. Spear from Karloff. Well, we only had one other referee here tonight. Referee Jack. Two, three, two, six, Tony, you can count to 87. This match should be over. Should absolutely be over. And this is a travesty. Oh. Coming to ringside. He's trying to hide right now. Shady Torres is down. Darius Carter is in and out of the ring. Yeah. Distracting Jason Karloff. Darius Carter, a ghost. The hostile collective haunted Karloff during his entire title reign. Jo Joey, what the hell's Joey B doing? Wait a second, we have, we've got Joey B out here. Did he mug a referee for that shirt? I'll tell you what, as the boss, he certainly can make himself a referee. And as commissioner, I approve it, I'll be honest. All right, well, we've got it on wax here. We're making the rules as we go here. You approved it. He's the boss. He, he, he's the commissioner. He's the boss. I'm just a jamoke in the middle. I don't know what you want from me. And you got a referee named Shady, too. What's going on here? It's Staten Island, Tony. Come to expect this already. Steeler driven down to the mat by Koloff. And could be, should be, still a champ. Joey B counts the three. An impactful statement here from the champion, Sam Gomez. Make with the talk speak as we get our official decision. It appears that stabbing Joey B in the back has backfired by Chris Steeler here tonight at Extreme Heat. That's right. But you know what? This is chapter one of a new story here in Warriors of Wrestling. And the headline next time will read, Chris Steeler, Warriors of Wrestling Champion. How about that one, Rob? I would read that newspaper, I'll be honest. Wait, you can read? Joey, Joey, 
Come here. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Oh, God. Apologize for the language, Jones. folks. Joey, I don't, I, don't, I don't blame you for what you just did. You do? Come on. Here. Here. Watch him, Joey. Last month. Hold on. Hold on. Last month, I don't Come know. On. I guess the frustration of losing the No Limits title, the frustration of, of, of not being the heavyweight champion for such a long time, I let the frustration get the best of me. What? BS. Oh, no, 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 BS. You guys you know about? me, I've been here for so long. Lie, 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 lie. Is he about to apologize? He's either apologizing, I understand, I understand. or are these people in Staten Island, well, they're, they're, we've been they're here kind so of much. stupid. I've been by your side for so long, through everything. I know, I let, the, I let my frustration get the best of me. I'm sorry. That's a man right there, Rob. That's a man right there, Tony. Willing to admit that he's wrong. Willing to be the bigger man and extend the lending hand to a man who just screwed him for the world title. That also may be a snake in the grass. And there's not a fan in here that buys a story right now. You need to think better of people, Tony. Working for Vince Russo screwed your mind up. Well, there could be some truth in that. No. And an embrace by Chris Steeler. This is surprising to me. I'm sorry. Wait a second. A snake in the grass is right. Oh, boy. Here comes the locker room of Warriors of Wrestling for Chris Steeler. And Chris Steeler has nowhere to go but through the fans. I apologized earlier. Here's another one. Apologize for the language and actions of one Chris Steeler. This is my house. As the Warriors of Wrestling locker room scares off Chris Steeler. So, Matt, you, uh, you agree with all this? You agree with those actions? You see, when you get pushed to a point, when you are told to put the company on your shoulders, when you're told to be the nice guy, when, you're take, when you have opportunities taken from you every single time, Tony, yeah, I do agree with it. I agree when someone gets screwed. I want to I wanna thank everybody for coming out in this extreme heat tonight. I, I also want to congratulate Jason Karloff on retaining his Warriors Wrestling World Heavyweight title. I also want to tell Chris Steeler that he's going to be entered in the Ultimate Survival Match on July 8th right back here at Front Station. Tickets are available at the concession stand, by the way. And also, Steeler, I'm going to enter myself in there, too. I hope I see you there. Good night, everybody. There we go. It's extreme heat. Thank you so much for joining us. Coming out tonight for supporting independent wrestling, for supporting women's wrestling. For all of us here, get hosting. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to thank you for joining us. I am Warriors of Wrestling Commissioner Rob Blatt. I am the voice of Warriors of Wrestling, Matthew Ryan Shapiro. And I'm Tony Schiavone, and it's been a great night to be in Staten Island. Thank you very much, guys. Absolutely. Remember, follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, subscribe on YouTube, and we will see you next time at Warriors of Wrestling.